What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we are taking a look at two brand new Nickelodeon themed popsicles. First we've got Ninja Turtles popsicles. Now these aren't the cherry flavored ice ones with the edible bubble gum eyes. This is Tropical Punch flavored frozen confection. <laughs> as they call it, from Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I guess is some sort of new television show with the Ninja Turtles. I think it's just... Who's the red Ninja Turtle? i never, I never seen the show. Um, I, I've never watched one really? second of Ninja Turtles. Uh, oh. Which I know is very surprising for a guy who's obsessed with the 80s and 90s that, like, kind of right in the thick of it, um, especially because I have a lot of Ninja Turtle themed stuff in my collection because they've been a part of so many different products. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Ninja Turtle is kind of a blind spot for me pop culturally. So you said it's which one? Raphael. Raphael. Is he the most popular guy? Maybe? He was, he was like the tortured emo guy. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, let's eat them up. Yeah. <laughs> so these are $3.48 at Walmart. They come in six packs. This one, on the other hand, this one, I, I this is it. my sweet spot. It's a 12-pack of Nickelodeon Slime Orange and Lime Popsicles, or flavored frozen confections, as they say. That box, much more to my liking. That subject matter, right in my sweet spot. And uh, I am definitely, definitely looking forward to that. Because let's not forget, Nickelodeon Slime, still responsible for the only Perfect 10, Perfect 10 product in the history of the CTC the review, the green slime ketchup. Ooh. So you never know. Good. You never know. You might see perfection here today. But let's open up with uh, Ninja Turtles. I feel like that's the way to go, right? Ryan, you get your own today. Ooh. All right, let's see what these things look like. Now, I did, I did like the, the ice cream truck cherry uh, Ninja Turtle pops. I think everybody liked those, right? I and mean, that was kind of a go-to for just about everybody. And yeah, it is a red Ninja Turtle. This looks pretty good. That's a pretty accurate to the box design right there. That was pretty good. I... It ain't perfect, but it's not that bad. Right, flip it around. Flip it around. That's not as not as good, actually. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Ninja Turtle, but this doesn't really look like a Ninja Turtle. It's it's artistic imper in impression or something. I don't know. I feel like mine looks a little better. This one looks melted. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not melted. These are fresh out of the freezer. Anyway, I mean. It's not. Good. They could look better. It looks kind of cool. They could also look worse. I mean, this looks pretty close to that. Yeah. It really does. Cheers, Ryan. Boom. Happy summer. Hi. Is yeah. it summer? I don't even know. By the time this is up, baby, it's summer. Mm. Ooh, nice and soft. Just like Raphael's tender art. <laughs> I know. There you go. Mmm. Tropical punch. It's got like a Hawaiian punch kind of taste to it. Like a very mango-y, mm -hmm. orangey, maybe a little bit of pineapple in there. I feel like if this melted a little bit, it would be like a weird, airy, soft goo. It mm -hmm. would not be good. It has to be very cold. Yeah, and... Texturally, it's perfect. Like, it's so soft right out of the freezer. You just wouldn't expect that. Like, if you bite into a popsicle right out of the freezer, like, it's almost like a nails on a chalkboard effect in your mouth. <laughs> this is nice and soft. Very similar to the texture of the Ninja Turtles ice cream truck bars. You know? Very similar in texture. I don't remember them very well. What? I want you to eat mine. No, I'm just kidding. Just put it, put it, put it in one of those cups. 
<laughs> we share everything, Ryan. All right. This is the main event here. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whew. Let's do this. A lot of pressure. Nickelodeon slime popsicles. Now, popsicle the brand used to have Nickelodeon slime bar uh, uh, popsicles. Do you remember those, Ryan? Popsicle they were filled brand? with green slime. It was like a regular popsicle filled with green. Oh no, that's not what I wanted it to look like. Here. Well, yours is mildly better. Both. Maybe. This is the least slime looking bar I've ever seen. Yours is a little bit better. It just, it looks like sledge. <laughs> it really is not, it, it's almost got like a Newport cigarette color scheme going, which I like, but it's uh, it's a messy version of that. It does not look like a oozing slime like on this box. This and this, I would say they really miss the mark. So is it supposed to be an orange bar with slime on it? No, I think it's supposed to be a half and half, but I think it's supposed to give the illusion of like I don't know. a slime fall. I'm not really getting that. I'm getting a lot of mixture between the orange and yeah. green that I, I really wasn't anticipating. And, and to me, that's really not a great thing. Mmm. Texture's good. Yummy. Getting a lot of orange flavor at the moment. Mmm. All right, there's a lemon lime. That's not bad. You know, nothing all that special. It does have that same soft texture, so it's easy to bite. Um, and really not all that cold on your teeth, which is weird. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I know. I know, you're, I know you, you get very sensitive teeth, but um, for me, something's got to be pretty darn cold. Like a real popsicle, like a popsicle brand popsicle, that'll mess with my teeth a little bit. Not so much this. Mm. All right. Well, I like it. I'll start with the gimmick grade. I'm going to give separate gimmick grades. This is like a bootleg version of a classic product, which <laughs> yeah. is good and bad. So I'm going to give a gimmick of a 7.5 out of 10. What do you think about that on the Turtles? Uh, too high? Maybe a little too high. 6.5 out of 10. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll call that your... Uh, your Tip of the hat. Here, I'll catch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So six and a half out of ten on the gimmick grade. With this, I mean the box. It just—it's such a mix of identifiable gimmick and simplicity. Something that you wouldn't expect. It's out of the box. I love that it's such a big box. It's a big, nice box. It's beautiful. I, I'm not going all the way to ten though. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. And, um, yeah, because it doesn't, it doesn't really blow my mind the like gimmick. that green ketchup. We're talking, about, we're talking about the gimmick. It doesn't blow my mind like a green slime ketchup did. Uh, I mean, that was just one of, one of my favorite moments of modern consumer good history. And this one is one I will always remember and remember fondly. Uh, for its gimmick, but it's not it's not at that elite level where I can where I can go any higher than a nine But hey a nine is a very very strong performance. I was like, extremely excited to see it at Walmart And I would recommend you guys get it for the gimmick alone for sure Now that said for the consumer time capsules signature capsule countdown signature. <laughs> I'm going second place for the Nickelodeon slime pop. What, what do you think about that? Okay. I'm going to do it. I don't think orange and lemon lime really mix all that well. I didn't I didn't really like the combo of the flavors. They almost cancel each other out and replace them with a worse version. <laughs> when like 
I just didn't, I don't think that the flavors blend all that harmoniously. There's a reason why lemon, lime, and orange don't really get paired together all that much. Try this again after it's melted. Okay. I still like it. That's a winner. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to give the flavor of the Nickelodeon Slime Pop a... I'm going to give it a four and a half out of ten. I mean, I, I just don't think it's all that great. Like I said, still pick it up. Pick it up for the gimmick and uh, enjoy it. You know, it could be something fun to share with your friends or your family, but um, really not something that's going to really blow you away taste-wise. Much more impressed with the taste of the Ninja Turtles popsicle. And... Um, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. You know, a popsicle really peaks at about eight to me because I'm not huge on popsicles. I'm really way more of an ice cream guy when it comes to like a nice cold dessert. This is not the best popsicle I've ever had, but it's pretty darn good. Um, it is one that I could definitely see myself going back and eating a couple more out of, out of, out of the freezer on a hot day. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. First place on today's Capsule Countdown. Ryan seems to be in agreement there. So anyway, guys, head out to Walmart. Check these out. And Nickelodeon. Keep coming out with new products with Walmart. I love this. We'll, keep, we'll stay on top of it. We'll keep it going. There is a Ninja Turtles ice cream that came out that's green, but it's vanilla. And then there's pieces of, like, turtle... Um, it's like turtle-shaped pieces of chocolate with caramel in it. Mm. But, I mean, that sounds like basically every other ice cream. <laughs> like, there's nothing, like, special about it, so I didn't even bother with that. But anyway, keep coming out with new products, Nickelodeon. I'd love to keep on reviewing them. I, of course, next, next time, uh, we're going to be talking about more ice cream stuff. Let's see what the, um, oh, Bluebell Cookie Cake ice cream Ooh, so stay tuned for that because uh things are starting to heat up so let's uh cool it down with some dessert right oh. <laughs> let's beat the heat yeah anyway uh till next time guys of course i will miss you until i see you cheers they're not melted yet <laughs> <laughs>